What's going on guys? It's a uh, Thursday night. We just got a call. You can see me, there we go. We are headed on a heavy wrecker call. Got the truck warming up here. We've got a report semi-trailer has come off the truck and it's down in the median. So we'll get over there, see what we can do about it. I'll uh, get back with you when we arrive. This thing sitting on the cable barriers and telling about on the ground. Uh, so this is loaded with approximately 10,000 pounds uh, truck parts or something. So not too crazy heavy, but it is tangled up in the cable barriers. These wheels are off the ground. This is well above my head. So these cable barriers might get tangled up. It's a disaster. We'll have to get everybody here, make a game plan, and see if we can get this thing off the media here. So stay tuned. All right, pig pens here. Game plan right now, just to kind of figure it out. We're gonna anchor this corner right here, anchor it down with the pig pen. I actually put my hand on that. You can shake this whole trailer. So uh, got the big wrecker moving back here. We're gonna hook on the front, see if we can drag this whole thing a little bit up towards the road so that we can once we do get a lift on it we can get a truck back under it um, but first thing we'll just anchor that corner there and, and we'll go from there we got a lane shut down thanks to uhp so we're going to try and make as quick a work of this as we can So we anchored the back. We did just a small little pull right here and it actually worked way in our favor. It's sitting a lot more straight. These back wheels are almost on the ground. So the landing gear is still dug in there, but it's it's all bent up and folding, which is honestly gonna be best to get it almost out of the way. If we can get this thing pulled sideways a little bit more up onto the line here, be able to do a lift on the front and hook onto it so that we can drag it out of this mess. So, still kind of tangled in the barrier back here, but so far the little pull got us a long way as we got this pig pen rigged up here to where it's just got a downward pull on this trailer corner. So anytime that that lifts when we're pulling up there, this pig pen's keeping it pulled down. So, so far so good. We'll keep rolling. All right, so we just re-rigged. We backed up a little bit. So we're, hold on, loosen it. We backed up so that we're parallel with this trailer. We're gonna try and side pull it because we were kind of pulling forward at that rate. Got a 
better for the side angle. Really close right here where we had a full point sideways. So. Making some progress, it's not sitting up quite as much. So, this has been pretty uh, eventful so far. We're just going to keep side pulling and see what happens. Watch yourself on the cable. Okay, new development. So, we're sitting here. We were trying to pull sideways, like I was talking parallel. Um, this trailer only has 10 or 12,000 pounds in it. The problem is all of it is right in this corner. And so that's a pretty heavy dead pull with the resistance of the landing gear that's sunk down in a couple feet. So what we've decided now that the back's fairly stable, we're going to unhook the pig pen. We'll send it right down here. There's a turnaround like right there. And we'll bring him in the median here and we'll back this pig pen up right here is, is the idea right we're learning as we go with some of this we're going to pick up a little bit right here just enough that it takes some pressure off of that so when we pull sideways we can slide it over off this rail there's so much tension on these cables that if we cut one of those they're going to go flinging for miles they say anyway so the goal is to get a little bit of weight off this so we can drag it sideways. If we can go three or four more feet over to the road with this trailer, we'll be able to pick it up and hook on. So. Any wise work? There could be snow on the ground. There could be snow. It could be a lot colder. I kind of just gave them the game plan. Could have been on the side. Yep. So far, that's the fun of this. No two of them are the same. You kind of just do whatever works. I'd be a little concerned about that kingpin on the trailer, though. I don't know. Yeah, and the truck. The truck for sure, but you know, I don't even know if I. They're gonna have to come and swap the load or something. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't hook right on and go down the road. Yep. We'll meet him again like 30 miles down the road to do it again. Yeah. Alright. Got the pig pen bouncing down the median here. I start pulling the trailer, we want to let the boom out at the same time, so I don't know if we need to get closer. I mean, we're only going to be able to go a couple more feet with that, but yeah. I can go right up to it. That's what I think we ought to do. You want to stop me before I hit it? Alright. <laughs> yeah, I do my best thinking with my coke in my hand.
Beats being in bed for school tomorrow, right? Yep. <laughs> We're gonna lift with the boom and not the winch. We're gonna see what she's made of, eh? Yeah. Might not be much. Now, which handle does what? This shoulder is really soft, and I'm afraid we get the heavy down in there and then try and lift on the front of that trailer, and we're going to end up sinking. So we're going to have to tow it that way with the wrecker. So we're going to try and get it up on the pavement where we have a better hook. Not to mention uh, our cable barrier. If we did try and pull it forward, we're going to end up running into it anyway. So we're going to try and get away from that cable a little bit more. But 
going good. Just slow. Get you a quick shot here. How tight these cables are on this tire. And they're they're cutting into it almost. So our goal here is just get get the pressure off the cable right there. Now we got the pig pen still holding the front of the trailer here. That way when we pull this sideways, we're not going to uh, risk tipping it over or pushing the front down in further. So once we get ready to pull, Devin will go back over there and man it. We'll just talk to him on the radios and, and we're kind of working in sync. So should be good. All right, Devin, we're going to start pulling. Catchy. <laughs> it's like magic. been a minute since I updated you. We got the front lifted a little bit. We're just going to try and pull forward and see what happens. Okay. 
okay, it's rolling now. I feel like I really got hung up on that cable. It pulled me backwards. I try her again? Yeah, let's give her another go. Keep going. Okay, hold her up there. Woo! So the landing gear is the road. On the edge there. So here's the aftermath where it was tangled up and then destroyed a bunch of this. We just barely broomed off the road so we covered up a lot of the holes. What do you say? Well, we got her done. Went pretty well. A um, few little hairy moments, but uh, all in all it went really well. Do a little bit of cleaning up here and we'll go back to the shop thing off the road. It's been fun. Thanks to all the crew. Oh yeah. Let's go home and go to bed. Thanks to the uh, Highway Patrol for sitting out here and keeping us safe. We keeping a lane it. open for that. UHP is pretty awesome. Okay, thanks for watching.